So I love the, the ability that we have to showcase how Pinot Gris in the Willamette Valley does such a great way of illustrating a sense of place and that we're able to present Pinot Gris from such a wide range of different sites across the valley um, and compare that to how we make Pinot Gris in a little bit cooler site, higher elevation versus some warmer sites in the valley, different vineyards, different uh, viticulture methods. But I think it really shows just how diverse Pinot Gris is as a, as a wine. I think it's very rare in, in Oregon or in, for the industry to have such a wide range of Pinot Gris. Yeah, the wide selection of lots to play with and choose from and uh, get to express. And, yeah. the one of the, what I really love about this Steiner block is the old founding blocks are what make up this wine and that it's uh, planted in 1992, so it's some of the oldest Pinot Gris we have on the property. It's own rooted. It's own rooted, yeah. yeah. So this is always just a single those single two blocks, so it's a very expression of down to the block level of that, that particular wine. And this one made in the in the winemaking style we are doing, trying to follow the Steiner philosophy to uh, very low impact and just letting it be what it is. Well, this wine is a tribute to Rudolf Steiner, the founder of the biodynamic style of agriculture. Um, Biodynamic is a little bit, of, just a brief history, is a different approach to more industrial site types of farming. Um, going back to the early 1900s when we tried to look at finding another way of farming that was less invasive and uh, maybe less heavy handed on the agriculture, letting, kind of going back to nature and looking more at what needs to be, what is a healthy farm and what needs, what do we need to do to make a healthy farm. And so that's been our commitment for many years um, to be sustainable and to farm the land in a uh, healthy way. And so making this wine in the bi biodynamic method allows us to really pay tribute to that uh, respect for the land. Yeah, um, the, the estate was organic from 2002 uh, with the, kind of the King family's commitment to sustainability anyway uh, and so the transition to biodynamic in 2016 um, was relatively painless. So the Steiner block Pinot Gris is hand harvested, whole cluster, uh, brought to the crush pad where it's loaded into the press and the free run and the light press is sent to stainless steel and from there it's racked uh, to the concrete egg and where it begins fermentation uh, as flavors develop and we're watching the sugar levels as it progresses uh, through fermentation. I think we definitely notice uh, enhanced texture and mouthfeel from the, the, the egg that it helps develop uh, more leaves stirring so there becomes a convection current that happens during uh, because of the shape of the egg yeah, so it, it lifts and suspends leaves uh, throughout the fermentation, which really helps develop more uh, mouthfeel and more texture. Yeah, the 2018 vintage in general uh, started off relatively cool and wet, um, which was nice uh, to replenish some water uh, in our mm -hmm. water table. Uh, uh, rather warm year, not too many heat spikes, but the average temperature was pretty high and it was relatively dry. Uh, throughout the summer, um, but because there weren't as many heat spikes, it also was able to cool off at night to let the vines rest, um, which uh, developed some uh, really great ripeness uh, across Oregon in general. Um, we were, yeah, we were able to have so much more flexibility and we could wait to pick when it was absolutely ripe and mm -hmm. the flavors were where we wanted them to be. Um, I think it was it allows us to showcase the wine in its best way. Yeah, um, yeah I would take a lot, uh, many more 2018s. <laughs> mm. um, the Steiner Pinot Gris, uh, kind of a light bodied white um, that uh, is a uh, nice aromatic, some floral. Uh, Honeysuckle, some 
Smoking the citrus notes. Mm -hmm. A lime zest and some white peach, maybe peach skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, peach skin and uh, some minerality. There's a nice acidity that uh, flows through this one. Um, yeah. It's very soft in the entrance and then it's there's some volume and weight in the mid palate. Yeah. But the acid balances it all out. The so acid well. at the end finishes really cleanly and uh, kind of crisp. Yeah. It gives it length and a uh, really great food pairing wine. I think it helps it match so well with such a wide variety of different mm -hmm. foods. 